Gentlemen, welcome to Broadway World TV. I am standing here with the stars of Ghost, the musical, which is making its Los Angeles premiere debut this evening at the beautiful Pantages. Katie, Steve, how are you? Great, great. Yeah. Very happy it's, to be here. Yeah, it's really great to be here. Thank you. There's not uh, uh, many cases when the stars of a show that's going up in an hour and 15 minutes from now <laughs> actually come out and speak to the media, but we appreciate it. So tell us, is this your first time in Los Angeles? This is not. Uh, it's my second time, total, but uh, I was only here in December, so it's yeah. still very new. <laughs> Were you here with the show? Uh, I was here on personal business. No stranger to Los Angeles, are you yeah. and you. Do you have your favorite uh, points of interest that you'd like to visit when you're here? Katie? Um, I don't know. I'm just excited. I haven't explored that much. I've gone to the beach and um, Hollywood Boulevard here. <laughs> I haven't really done yeah, too I much. Yeah, I have a checklist of things to yeah, see. Yeah, we've got a uh, list of know, things the, to do. The Star Walk and uh, the yeah. Hollywood sign. I'd like yep. to see that with my own eyes. Haven't seen it yet. Santa Monica Pier. Uh, yeah, Santa Monica Pier. <laughs> I've been there, so that, that was great. It's pretty amazing when you're standing up there in those hills looking at that right. sign. It's right. It's so very famous, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Let's talk about Ghost the Musical. And how long have you been on tour so far? We hit the road in September, so we've been on the road for a while now. Yeah, Almost it's done. been about nine months. We could yeah. have had a baby by now. <laughs> Thank God we didn't. <laughs> We're talking about in general, folks, in general, yes. So um, that being said, the casting process for you in this show, I mean, this was, you know, what, goes back about a year and a half maybe, or uh, not quite that summer. long? Last, last summer. summer. For me, it was for about me. exactly yeah. a year ago. Mm -hmm. And was it something when you went in, hoping to get it, of course, but was it something that you actually felt, mm, I think this is my show? Um, I think I, I saw the show on Broadway and I loved it. I fell in love with it and I started learning the music and I was like, I, need, I want to do this show. And so I guess I just put my all into it. And for, for me, the opposite is true. Um, <laughs> I didn't see it coming at all. I was auditioning for many things in New York City and uh, was essentially asked to audition via video. And so I submitted a vi video audition and then uh, auditioned in person shortly after that. And uh, the rest is history. I've been on the road since. You know, it's so great. He says he auditioned by video. There was a time when you could not do that, right. when it was simply not acceptable, <laughs> acceptable without giving a live yeah, performance, exactly. though you had to give a live uh, audition afterwards. Yeah, right. So has the... Has the um, uh, assignment of taking these roles, which are very famous from the motion picture, of course, has that played any sort of part of your choices into the acting approach with uh, Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze? You no, know, sure. I think it's uh, important to keep that character in mind, but to, to put your own spin on it and make right. it your own. But keep, keep you want to stay true to the story and true to what people know and love as well. Yeah, one of the most intimidating factors <laughs> of uh, doing the show and being in rehearsal was the fact that it is so synonymous with some very well-known actors and stars um, and just you know really trusting the our cast our creative team our directors um, and and the the book really allows us to be able to tell this story and have our own personal take on it there are similarities of course that uh, you might see or remember from the movie that you see in our production but a lot of it is just uh, coincidental like we're serving the text, and we're doing the best to tell this story, like they did. Well, and you know, it's it's an interesting, it must be interesting for you being on tour with this, since it is the first time that it's gone through the country. And granted, most people probably saw the film, but they right. didn't make it to Broadway necessarily to see it, because unless they were there, you know, sure. intentionally. Mm -hmm. So they're, most, 90% of the audience, I'm sure, is probably seeing it for the first time tonight. Yeah. yeah. And that's exciting, because it's always like, you know, in theater, nothing's ever the same from night to night, true. right? true, yep. And with the audience, it's going to be the same experience. Yeah. Some of the music, as he said, is uh, and some of the uh, storyline, of course, we know about that. Some of the famous music that is still in the musical that was in the motion picture is... Unchained uh, Melody. Melody, of course, yes. Yes. by uh, yeah. Alex North and High Zeret, I believe, are the writers of it, but made famous by the Righteous Brothers. Mm -hmm. Um, and then on top of that, there's there's a, a new score. There's a, a pop rock uh, infused score that really helps elevate the story to new heights. 
So it's uh, it's been a privilege to sing the show and and a challenge at times, <laughs> but we're having a great time. And uh, they have the writers happen to be here tonight, so they're seeing the show. We're really excited for them. Yeah, to be here. fantastic. But listen, we thank you so much for stopping by Broadway World TV and speaking to us. Thank you. And you know, the whole nation will be watching this interview in just a couple days. No pressure there, right? <laughs> right. And uh, we wish you a fantastic performance Thank tonight. You. Have fun. LA audiences are very appreciative. They really are. Mm-hmm. They are. It's it's uh, it's different than Des Moines, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to be here. Yeah, we're so right, I'm Michael excited. Sterling for Broadway World TV. We'll see you soon. Ghost the Musical, directed by Tony Award winner Matthew Warchus and choreographed by Ashley Wallen, is celebrating its Hollywood Pantages premiere now through July 13th. Winning an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay in 1990. Ghost became a blockbuster hit and an instant classic, winning numerous awards worldwide. The film starred Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, Tony Goldwyn, and Whoopi Goldberg, who won an Academy Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role for her performance as Psychic Oda Mae Brown. Ghost the Musical features Stephen Grant Douglas as Sam Wheat, Katie Postatnik as Molly Jensen, Carla R. Stewart as Oda Mae Brown and Robbie Haltwanger as Carl Bruner. Tickets for Ghost the Musical are available for purchase at HollywoodPantages.com, Ticketmaster.com, or by telephone at 1-800-982-2787. Tickets may also be purchased in person at the Hollywood Pantages box office and all Ticketmaster outlets. For further information about Ghost's U.S. national tour, visit ghostontour.com. Yeah!